on the mound is the 40-year-old like a fine wine. Got to use the phrase, Tom. He's 40, but he gets better with age. He's a three-time All-Star, and he is dealing in the second half of the season. I mean, look at the innings. That really jumps out to me. Getting over 200 today, most likely. 1,999 career strikeouts. Major milestone should be popping up for him this afternoon. Wong was a Cardinal from 2013 up through last season. Makes contact through the right side, base hit. Brewers have their leadoff man aboard. Now a meeting with Yelich. Yelich 0 for 8 in this series. Runners moving. Yelich lifts it to left. O'Neill will jog over towards the line and haul it in. And Wong will retreat. And now he's got Eduardo Escobar. There goes Wong. Ball four. Nice battle there. And here's Arias. Two outs, two on. And he walked another. Bounce that one and loads up the bases. So it's up to Tyrone Taylor. Grand slam for him in his career exactly two months ago against the White Sox. Tyrone ball. Oh, I see this ball going in the second deck. And he socks the 1-0. Deep left center. Bader giving it a look and forget about it. Tyrone Taylor muscles up. It's his second grand slam of the season, and the Brewers hang four on Wainwright in the first. Oh! And a more two! What a moment for Tyrone Taylor. And Broadway to Dylan Carlson. Carlson's bat is all over the place on the infield, but it turns into a single and a one-out base runner for the Redbirds. Here's Yachty. Loves to play, and there's another ground ball from Hauser. Yeah, pulled to third, and easy for the Brewers to double him up and sit down the side. Here's Willie Adamas leading off. Nolan Arenado, that's just easy for him. He's amazing over there at the hot corner. Ground ball out for Wainwright. He's as good as there is throwing on the run. And this time, a lazy fly ball to center. Bader's got it. Hitting over, and a leadoff base runner. One on for Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt's bat is broken, and he is doubled up. Well, you want to know how well Hauser's ball is moving right now? He's allowed one hit, and he's broken three bats. Tyler O'Neill. There it is. Adrian Hauser picks up another strikeout, his third of the day. He's in cruise control right now. 1,999 career strikeouts. Many are on the edge of their seat, waiting for the big number to emerge. And that, welcome to the club. 2,000 career strikeouts for Adam Wainwright. And he has a seat next to Bob Gibson as the only two pitchers in Cardinals history to punch out 2K. And fittingly, it was Uncle Charlie the curveball for career strikeout number 2,000. First K of the day for Wainwright hits a major milestone, and he's the ninth player to reach 2,000 strikeouts with only a single franchise. And now the matchup with Taylor. Taylor gets another good rip. Oh, wow, Tyrone Taylor has another. What a day. Is there a home run cycle? Because he has a grand <laughs> slam and a solo shot in his first two ABs. 5-0 Milwaukee. Tyrone Taylor with his second career multi-homer game. The Brewers love him as a losing streak stopper, potentially, if he can keep things rolling. Four and a third, three strikeouts. Carlson gets a hold of one into right field, and that is a fair ball, and he's heading for two, and now heading for three. Dylan Carlson on the run, and he's in there with a one-out triple. Kind of the underreported aspects of baseball, their defense and their base running. And I like the terminology he used. He called them the special teams of baseball. <laughs> you know, people don't pay a lot of attention to them. Oh, that's classic yes, Yachty. Yachty. First pitch, he loves to do that in an RBI spot, and he comes through. The Cardinals are on the board. It's 5-1, and we're on to Edmundo Sosa. Check over to first, and they got him. Heads up play to catch Yachty. That's what Yachty usually does. He's like, wait, you can't do that to me. The Cardinals load up the bases back to the top of the order in Tommy Edmond. Edmond flew out in the first, free pass in the fourth. Popped him up. It's for Arias. The Cardinals strand the bases loaded. Three on for Milwaukee. They load it up for Escobar. 
That's got lift to right. Carlson will make the grab. Hauser will not go. There's two outs now in the fifth. Luis Arias, Brewers fans know, loves the bases loaded this year. Six for 13 in these spots. And a half swing for Arenado. Kim extinguishes the threat without giving up any damage. In the middle of this Cardinals order. Goldschmidt with a hard hit baseball into left on an 0-2 count. Has himself a single. He's one for three today. O'Neill is coming up. And that is Arias making a nice stop with the glove and the throw the short way is in time to erase Goldschmidt. Look at Arias. Now he has errors galore this year, but it's it's on the arm. It's not with the glove. The glove's been great. Dylan Carlson's been the best bat today for St. Louis. Carlson spits it to left. And Yelich right in front of the track. We'll end this inning. Adrian Hauser has himself another scoreless frame and a 5-1 edge. Bases full of Cardinals with just one out in the seventh. 0-2 hole for Edmund. Contact right side. There's one at second. Back to first, and he's safe. And a run is in. It's 5-2. Two on for Goldie with two outs. Instead, a try at first, and a run comes in. Bader scores. It's 5-3. Edmund hops to second, and this team, known for its base running, also creates a run just from that reputation. One in now, and one on. He's going to left center. Paul Goldschmidt walloped that one. And we are tied. Number 28 on the season. They have come storming back. This team is dangerous. Paul Goldschmidt powers up for two. The Cardinals even the score at five. Cardinals are in business, second, third, nobody out. Two in scoring position. Yachty doesn't go out to the first pitch, but it skips away. And the Cardinals grab the lead. Arenado come on down, it's 6-5. Well, I'm not sure that Pena tracked this one well. Fastball at 99. Now 2-0 to Molina. And Molina in the center. Kane giving it a look. And back at the wall, he's got it. Just enough space, but it's good for a sack fly off the bat of Yadi Molina to make it 7-5 St. Louis. Carlson comes in and make it seven unanswered runs from the hottest team in baseball, looking for a 12th consecutive win and now a two-run cushion. And a chance to add on some runs here against Aaron Ashby. Pop up, another chance, Eduardo Escobar over the shoulder. No, in right field, it's Tyrone Taylor to the rescue. <laughs> you don't figure the right fielder's going to get there. And there he is. Taylor comes out of nowhere with a spectacular diving catch. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. Home run, tied the game in the seventh. That turned the day around for the Cardinals. 3-1 is set to left center. <laughs> All the outfielders are just going to watch it go. Paul Goldschmidt has a two-home run day. It's 8-5. He's up to 29 on the year, and the Cardinals are clicking on all cylinders right now. They're a force. Last time the Cardinals won 12 in a row, 1982. 3-2 last call for Milwaukee. Game over. The comeback is complete and official, and the win streak continues for the Cardinals. 12 in a row.